Hey guys, Hoy Archer here. So today I want to do a quick video, uh, show you guys how I do my camouflaging on my bowls. So the bowl we're working on today is Larry's bowl. Uh, this is for the bowl trade that we had. Um, and I get a lot of requests, um, viewer requests asking how do I do my paint jobs and how do I get that snakeskin effect. And it's actually pretty simple. It's, it's a basic technique. I believe the Backyard Boyer shows it in, in his couple of his videos. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys where I'm at now with this bowl. So to get this effect that I'm working on for Larry's bowl is I'm doing a basic wood finish on the bottom and a snakeskin camouflage on the top. So what you want to get to where I'm at now, what you want to do is you want to obviously frame out your bowl, make sure it shoots good, and then put four coats of your um, shoe polish full work on your bowl, followed up by um, correction, that is three coats three coats of brown and one coat of black so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your first coat of brown on then one coat of black wipe that off and then do two more coats of brown after that and then what you do next is you take your cardstock it's back up here you take your cardstock cut out the shapes that you want and you just go ahead and layer it on your bowl and you just you spray out your design Okay, after that tacks up and dries, you go ahead and you take your um, stocking here, stretch it over, and pin it off in the back. Now, you can actually figure out how big you want this, um, the scales to be simply by just stretching the, stretching the um, netting net more. And what you do is just roll up the rest in the back and then pin it up. <coughs> so, let's go ahead and get this done. Now, it's kind of a windy day today, but it's not that bad. So, anyway, once you're at this step, you take your colors. What I'm using here is just uh, some Krylon paint, uh, camel paint, satins mix, and a little bit of the Fusion hammered metal just for a little bit of um, fuzzazz, I guess you call it. So I'm starting off with some satin black. Now this you don't want to you don't want to coat this all the way through because you still want to see the camouflage in the background. So what you do is you just kind of give it some just like that. Okay, black is done. Next color. That's another thing you might want to remember is what colors you use. <laughs> Next color is some brown. Some yellow, oh, not yellow, um, khaki. And then some OD green. Oh, this one I'm gonna do these. Alright. And then the last is the mist of this hammered finish bronze all right now we just let that tack up and then we remove everything when we're done <coughs> had the mask didn't even put it on <laughs> that's pretty funny Okay, just go ahead and remove the clips. And then when you remove this, what you want to do is you want to pull up and away. There you go. I don't think you guys can see that. 
as you can see, nothing touched the back. There's really no need to tape off the back end if you don't want any, if you don't, um, if you're worried about getting it back here. If you have everything lined up straight and you're spraying straight, you won't get anything on the back. So now the next, the next step is after this thing completely dries up, probably by tomorrow morning, I'm going to go ahead and put, um, four more coats of brown over this. And what that's essentially going to do is it's going to, it's going to, um, <clears throat> make this look like it's a in the wood inlay. I guess that makes sense, yeah. An inlaid, um, an inlaid snakeskin print. So it'll have the print on the top and the wood finish on the bottom. Alright guys, so that's how I do my um, snakeskin paint job camouflage. If you guys have any questions, comments about this, y'all know where to leave it. Check you guys later.